Hey friends, Hattie with Honeybee Stampers here. I am live on Facebook right now for our happy hour with Honeybee Stampers. I hope that you guys can tune in and um, enjoy today's video session that we're going to do. Today's gonna be all about the kits collection. So let me just um, make sure I'm all set up. Of course, I gotta do that every time, but I've got lots of stuff to share with you guys today. And hopefully this will be a kind of a fun um, little crafting session. Okay, looks like I'm good. So today I'm actually giving away one of the kits collections and you have to be live and watching live to be able to do, to be able to be entered to win. Okay, so and I'll show you guys how that's going to work in just a minute. Let me um, grab, let's see here. I had, oh here it is. I couldn't find it for a second. Okay, so this is our host code for this month. If you guys are familiar with this, if you've shopped online with me before, when you go over to my Stampin' Up! website, my online store, especially after today when you see all of these awesome kits and you feel like you want to buy something, then if you use this host code right here, then that kind of gives me credit for that order and it allows me to send you a little thank you gift in the mail. All right, and I'm actually currently sending out my July thank you gifts right now. So stay tuned for that for all of you who ordered last month. Okay, let's uh, let's see here. It is 3.01. I'm going to start off by sharing just a little show and tell. So I've got a ton of events happening um, coming up. So I've got demonstrator-only events like a retreat that's happening in October. I've got Stampin' um, a Sweet and Simple card class that's happening this Saturday, and I only have one seat left, one kit left. That's it. I'll show you those cards today, too. I think they are stinking cute. I love them. And then I also, um, let's see, what else do I have going on? I've got an online class going on and a lot of things coming up. Well, a lot of times people will place uh, their registrations with me online, but then they don't want to go through the online system to pay. I do use PayPal to accept payments, but that's just the way that I process credit cards. So you can either pay with PayPal or you can pay with any credit card that you've had. I know that some people don't love PayPal. Maybe they've had a bad experience with it. Therefore, they like to send me a check. And so, um, hi, Jan. Nice to see you on here. So I just wanted to show off some of the cards that I got in the mail this week so far um, from people who are paying online. And it's kind of fun because they send their checks in these cute cards. So look at this fun shaker card. This card was given to me, and I won't use last names, but, um, and I don't know if people care if I use last names or not. But anyways, it opens up like this and like that. And there's the little um, sentiment inside. I just thought that was so clever. And it's a shaker card. And this is from Nancy. And she actually signed up for multiple classes and events. So she's got another card in here somewhere. I think this one was hers as well. Let's see here. Yep. So she also sent me this card with a check. And I just think that's so fun to see these cards come through. Um, I did order some little glue holders from my friend Michelle. And so she sent me this little thank you card with the glue holder holders. So that's awesome. And then I got this card from Kathy. So, I mean, hi, Angela. Thanks for joining in. So it's really funny to see them kind of come through these checks come through with all these fun cards. Look at this gorgeous card. This is so pretty. So this one came from Heather and she has registered for our demonstrator only retreat that's happening in October. And this is the beautiful card that she sent. And then I've got a stamp camp coming up, right? Um, and this one is in Maryland and this is coming from Linda. So I love that. Look how beautiful that butterfly is. So thank you guys for sending your checks through the mail. And of course you do not have to send a card, but we are card makers, most of us. And so if you do have a card and you send it, I'm going to start kind of sharing it here on my videos and giving you a little shout out because that's really fun. Okay. There's that. Now, there has been um, a few, hi Angela, there has been a few like drawings that I was supposed to do in the past weeks and I thought I was going to go live and do a video where I showed my face and all that, I just didn't do it. <laughs> so I did do the drawing off offline here um, and so we've got two winners. So this right here are the new snowflakes and you can see Nan, you've won those. Um, so these are the adhesive back snowflake assortment. And the way that Nan won this is that she shared the video that she was watching where I said I was giving this away. So Nan, that is gonna get dropped in the mail to you. And um, this one right here, these are loose daisy embellishments and Angela Keller. 
and I know you're watching right now, you're actually going to get that. So congratulations to you too. Thank you for sharing these videos. That helps me out so much. It allows me to share crafty inspiration with your friends um, and more people so that I can in introduce people to Stampin' Up. So there's that. Now today, let me tell you how we're going to um, do the drawing for today. Um, I've got these marbles here. And these marbles are literally like 20 years old, okay? And they are, um, they've got numbers on them like this, okay? So I just put like up to, I think I went up to 15 or 20, depending on the number of people that actually comment. So when I get ready to do this drawing, I'm going to ask you for um, something in particular. And then you will type in your response and then I will assign you a number um, as I see your response come through. And when I do the drawing, whoever's number is drawn, they are going to win the kit that I'm giving away today. So let's, um, actually, let's not jump in just yet. I am gonna show you guys all the kits because sometimes going online and looking at these kits on online is just not as, um, I don't know, it just doesn't represent it as well as it could. I mean, seeing it in person is just 10 times better. But let me talk really quick about this sweet and simple card class that I have coming up. So. We've got Sweet and Simple Card Class I do once a month here in the studio, but I also cut and prep these kits to go. Uh, so if you are somebody who's long distance, you can get a kit sent to you through the mail. Now you're not gonna get any of the stamps or ink, but I'm pretty sure you have stamps and ink, or if you don't, you could always buy them from my online store, because um, I know I have new people that watch this vi these videos as well. And you can create projects with this, but I try to do as much of the work on my end as possible so that it is a sweet and simple experience for you. And um, I know Angela's on here watching and Angela has taken kits of mine before and used the own, her own stamps and her own ink and been really creative and she's shown me the results. So they're not exactly like the cards that I created, but she takes the elements of the cards and she makes them her own and they're always so good, so good. So um, it's totally doable. So let me show you the cards that we're creating on Saturday. And like I mentioned, I only have one kit left. One, that's it, one. So let's start off with this one. Look how cute that fun fold is. And of course, I'm gonna do a video to show you guys how to put these together so you can be inspired that way. And then this one, oh, I haven't finished the insides of the cards yet, but look how cute this is. So let me tell you about this one here. If you were to get this through the mail, you're not gonna get the little elephant and you're not gonna get the sentiment but you will get the base and this piece right here with that beautiful edging. You'll get these layers here, and then you can actually take any image that you have of your own, and it doesn't have to be a baby card. It could be a thank you card, or it could be anything else. You'll get ribbon as well. So that's how that works. So there's a card. Um, you guys are gonna be doing this card. So this features that new, that brand new stamp set that's an online exclusive. It's an, isn't that angel beautiful? And I even use some Wink Estella on the wings to make it glittery and shimmery. It's just gorgeous. And then this is a bundle that's an oldie but a goodie. You know, it's carried over several times. I've never had a chance to use it. And so I did this time. And I just wanted to, um, I don't know, this reminds me of New Orleans. There's also, there's also a, um, let me think here, like a Greek life. I want to say they're Oh gosh, I shouldn't even say because I feel like it's the cues, but I feel like, <laughs> I don't want to say, I shouldn't say because then I might get it wrong, but like these are their colors. So um, you might recognize that if you saw that. So anyways, there's that. And then um, here's a little fun fold. Isn't that so pretty? And then it has the inside there. And uh, this features the stamp set that is part of the online class that I'm doing all about the soft pastels. So look at that beautiful um, stamp set image there. We're gonna be doing a little technique on this one. So there's five of the six cards. Now the sixth card I will show you is this one. And I did kind of share a sneak peek of a project that I created that inspired this. So of course I wanted to make it sweet and simple. So here it is, but every month on my team meeting, we always do a fun fold where I, it's like a mystery stamping card. So I design, I designed this one here, and so you can open it up, and it opens up like that, okay? So this is that trucking along bundle. It is sold out. Well, the stamp set's not, but the dot, the punch is, excuse me, the punch is sold out, but the punch is coming back. But a lot of people have just opted to get the stamp set because the stamp set is amazing. And so I designed this, and then I give my customer, my team members 
a all the measurements. They don't know what the card looks like, but I give them all the measurements. And then I walk them through as I put this card together. And as I'm doing it, they've taken all the pieces of the product that they've cut up on their own and they're putting their stuff together. And then they all turn out different, but they're all amazing. So kind of like the the template of the cards are the same, but the cards come out looking different. So that's mystery stamping. So this is the one I did with them online. This is what I designed. This is the one I put together and I added this and I switched out the embossing folder just to see, you know, I like to see what would it look like if I did something a little different. And then they kind of vote and say, oh, I really like this one over this one. And actually this one did went out. And then I decided I love this so much. It's so cute. So I put together something a little bit simpler for our sweet and simple card class. So that's the six cards. So I had to show those off to you because I swear every time I do these cards, I'm like, oh, I love them. I love them so much. This is my best month. And then I do the next month and I'm like, oh, I love these products so much. So um, yeah, so there's that one kit left. That's it. Okay. Now that we've gone over that, let me point out um, one more thing here. So, oh, let me tell you. This class right here, the registration ended yesterday, but I'm placing the orders for everybody's kits tomorrow. So if you missed out on getting this soft pastels class and you're interested in it, reach out to me because I'm ordering tomorrow and you might be able to get snuck into that class. But then after tomorrow when I order, that's it. <laughs> that's it. Okay, so mini catalog. These have shipped. I actually got mine. I always send myself one as well as all of my customers who've ordered for me in the past six months. And so I've already gotten mine in the mail, so you probably have too. And if you haven't, it's probably coming in the next day or two. So reach out to me. Um, and I know that um, Febby sent me a message. I'll have to get back with you um, to double check and make sure yours went in the mail. And if not, it should be there soon. So this catalog is awesome. I've got an unboxing to do with it too because I've got some of the new products. I'll be sharing that with you guys really soon. Okay, now, now let's get in. Let's get into our what we're gonna do today. So I'm gonna go over the kits um, today with you. And what I'm doing is these kits collections, these are all inclusive card kits that Stampin' Up! comes out with, and they've been coming out with them every single month. It's usually the first Tuesday of the month, they release a brand new kit. And they're always amazing. Um, so let me, uh, what, the only way you can see them is online. So you'd have to go to my online store and you go to kits collection. And let me start with this first box because I want to give you guys a heads up about it. We did a birthday box bingo, which was so much fun. Um, I'm scheduling another bingo, but it's going to be a Christmas box bingo. And this is the new Christmas tags kit. I haven't even put it together yet, but this is what we're going to be featuring. So if you see this, you love it, don't buy it. <laughs> Sign up for my bingo. and Or if you want more than just one set of tags, of course, you can buy it. But... Um, definitely plan to sign up for bingo and I'll share the dates and release registration really soon because we're going to be, you're going to be getting this kit as part of your registration and bingo is so much fun here at the studio. So there's the first one I wanted to talk to you about. It's called the festive tags kit. Now all of these kits that I'm showing you are on sale about 30% off. If you're on my team, the beehive, and you're a demonstrator, you actually get your additional 20 to 25% off of every kit. So that is like a plus to, to shop this month to get these kits. And then of course, if you earned any coupons from last month, the $5 coupons, you can use that to make it even cheaper. Okay, so that's the first one, Festive Tags Kit. Well, actually, I might as well open this up. That's the whole point of me doing this video today is I wanted to kind of show you what these kits are like. So some of the kits include stamp sets and some of them an ink and an ink spot, and some of them don't. So this happens to be one of the all-inclusive card kits that doesn't. And when they don't include it, um, they'll usually have, like you see here, stuff that's already printed for you. And then these kits are a little bit cheaper. So typically this kit would be $13. Y'all, $13 for a tag kit. I mean, that's just dirt cheap in my opinion. And it's beautiful. You get an instruction booklet. So it's kind of similar to Paper Pumpkin, right? But, but you get to see it. It's not a surprise. You get to see what you want to order before you order it. And it's on sale for $11.70. So then when you open it up, you've got a full color step-by-step -step tutorial. And it's almost like foolproof, right? So you can kind of just follow the instructions. Sometimes it might look a little tricky. But I just wanted to kind of show you what it looks like. So you would pop these out. 
they're already perforated for you like that. And like, again, like I said, you'll have your sentiments here. You'll get adhesive, so you don't have to worry about adhesive. You'll get all the embellishments that you need for it. And then look at these, aren't these so cute? I think they're so adorable. So just showing off what this looks like. I did not put these together yet, but I will. Now, if you come to my Stampin' Bingo, I do love these kits, but I also like to design stuff as well. And so I'm sure I will design a couple projects for you to create using your kits, the, um, the products in your kits. So there's the first one. Kind of pay attention to that festive tags kit because I'm going to ask you guys pretty soon what your favorite kit is. All right, so let's go to the next one. The next one might be this one. I'm just looking online to see. Yep. So this one is called the Blossoms Wishes Kit. And they all come in these great little boxes here. So here's the Blossom Wishes Kit. You've got the, again, step-by-step -step instructions here. And then on the back side, it shows you all the kit components. Um, and then you can use these QR codes to kind of learn some basic uh, stamping basics there. And then you could also use do this QR code right here to kind of watch these kits be put together. So there's that. And let me show you the two projects that this makes. So typically when you're looking at this cover here, whatever you see on here, and it's very similar to Paper Pumpkin, is exactly what's in the kit. So if you see that you've got one, two, three, four of these long slimline cards, and then four of these smaller cards, and then maybe some coordinating envelopes, then you can expect that that's what you're gonna have in the kit. So I've put two together. This one, the slimline one doesn't even fit in my camera shot that I can tell. Anyway, so I've put this one together and it's actually a very pretty sturdy cardstock. Um, sometimes I feel like they're thin, thinner than I than our regular cardstock, thinner than I'd like them to be, but this one's actually pretty sturdy. And you've got all the die cut pieces and it's such a vibrant card, isn't that gorgeous? And um, th this is one that's all inclusive where you don't get a stamp set and you don't get um, an ink spot. Everything's already done for you. Okay, some people might not like this. I don't mind it at all, because it allows me to create some really beautiful cards really fast uh, that I can give away. So I only put two together, but know that you're gonna get eight total. And then you've got this little vellum that you would punch out, all these little pieces in here. And then when they do these kits, they typically always will include multiple languages. And so um, you're gonna have like, you're gonna have English obviously and French in there. Uh, I mean, this is German and you're gonna have French as well. Uh, here's French, right? And sometimes they do Dutch, I think, I think. Don't quote me on that. But, so that's really cool to be able to get all those pieces. And um, and you can, if you have friends that speak French or or German, you can send those extra pieces over to them. So I do um, know somebody that actually does request some of the other languages from me and I do send them when I, when I get them. So there's that. Um, this one, let me just take a look because I can tell you guys price as well, I'm looking at it. So because again, this is an uh, all inclusive but it doesn't include the stamp set, it's $13, but on sale for $11.70 and you get eight cards. I mean, you guys cannot beat that. Okay, so let's go to this next one. This next one, I have not put this one together either. I've got all of my kits in front of me, hold on. I have not put this one together yet, but I will tell you it is sold out, okay? So it's currently sold out and not sure um, when it'll come back in. And so uh, you just have to keep looking at the website. Maybe it'll come in before the end of the month, which means that you'll be able to get it on sale. But if not, um, if it does come back in, it will cost $22. Now this one comes with an ink spot and also a stamp set. So here's the stamp set. It's a photopolymer stamp set. It's great size there. And then, okay, so this is not what comes in it. This is a new color pecan pie, but that was the ink spot that came in here. Ink spots, you'll see what that looks like in just a minute in another kit. They're, they're tiny, or let's see here. Oh, here it is. So this is actually the one that came in it, this cute little ink spot. I just like to keep my ink spots separate and I keep them in different storage. And I don't like to use them if I don't have to because sometimes I gift my ink spots. And so here is the, this is the color, same color, pecan pie in our regular stamp pad. So I like to grab that. And then I take these out and I set them to the side. 
So let me open this up because I want to show you. This clearly was a popular one um, because I have not had a chance to put it together, but it's sold out. So look at these card bases. They're already printed for you. Okay, so let's take a look at the directions to see what you get with this one. Okay, so it looks like you're gonna get four, okay, another set of eight cards. So there's eight cards here, beachy themed. This is beautiful, and I have a feeling Stampin' Up! probably created this background, because they've done a background that kind of looks similar to this, uh, where they kind of blew bubbles. Now, does anybody else have an issue with bubbles, or is it just me? I have got a real issue with like, and I, and the, it's like a, I don't know what it's called. It starts with a T and it's when there's a lot of little bubbles clustered together, just makes you want to itch. <laughs> well, that's what this does to me. So there's that <laughs> totally side, total side note. Oh, like this right here. I'm just itching looking at it, but <laughs> I'm sure it must be a super cute card that it put together um, because people are loving it. Okay. So now You've got some laser die cuts here, and you'll have them here that you would punch out, okay? And then here's some other pieces, so that just kind of goes on the back there. Again, you're gonna have your instructions, right? That shows you how to put it together. Now, how cool is this? Again, don't love the bubbles, that's just me. Um, but it goes really well with the theme. So you've got these great card, these are um, envelopes for the cards that coordinate so well. And I know a lot of people like to get creative and take these apart even further and create other cards with them. You totally can do that. I enjoy personally just putting them together as the Stampin' Up! designers have designed them. I do, I just love it. Oh, the other thing I didn't mention is that each sing every single kit that you get comes with a clear acrylic block. Now this isn't the case when you are um, getting a paper pumpkin kit. For Paper Pumpkin, you get the clear acrylic block the first kit, and then you don't after that. So this is quite the value to be able to get this. Now, this is different than our, um, these are our ergonom more ergonomically correct, in my opinion, blocks. They're thicker, and they've got this groove that are really easy to hang on to. I get these, I collect them in case I have a large class and I need to put several different stamps and I don't have enough of these, but I prefer these. So you can buy these on my online store if you wanted to and then kind of skip this thinner block. This, trust me, if you haven't tried both of these together, you'll, you, you'll, you don't understand. But if you do, if you, or if you have, you'll know this one right here is supreme, but it's great to have a backup like this one. So there's that. And then we've got here our um, adhesive. So I love collecting all of these little adhesives. So there's that, uh, that kit here. I will put this together eventually. Oh, and here's the embellishment that comes with it. And I can show you guys that. I promise I have put some kits together that I'm gonna show you. I'm just showing you ones that I haven't. Okay, so there's that. Let me set that to the side. So this one is called the Boho Beach Kit. And again, so it would typically be $22 and it's on sale for $19.80, but it's currently avail unavailable. So stay tuned for this to come back. Hopefully it'll come back before the end of the month so you can get it on sale. All right, let me scroll up and see what's next. Okay, confetti birthday kit. So this is one that, um, let me see, where is mine? I think it's this one. Okay, so birthday card bingo was the event that I did not too long ago. And here is the kit that everybody got a chance to make. And of course I don't have the finished ones. I don't know where they are. Ah. Anyways, so you get these three different cards. They're really pretty. This one was my favorite and you get to make three of each. So these are nine cards. Um, and then of course I designed two bonus cards for them to make featuring the stamp set that was included. So you're gonna get a stamp set with this. Um, hmm. Okay, maybe I'll come across it. So you get like this whole bag of embellishments. You get tear and tape. Oh, here's the stamp set. You get the stamp set here. You get these super fun envelopes, right? All these beautiful envelopes. So all of that came. Um, and then this one again, like I said, is sold out. You can get it in French, but you know, the sentiments will be in French. So if you're desperate to get the bases and then you use your own stamp set, you could always do that. That one's available and it's uh, $20.70 on sale. 
So originally, typically $23. So that is the confetti birthday kit. So kind of keep that in mind. All right, so our next one is called Forever Friends. Finally, a kit that I've actually put together. Let me, I haven't been paying attention to comments, so let me see if anybody. Well, hi, Amy. Hi, Melinda. Hi, Veronica. Hi, Deborah. Oh, thank you, guys. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Pam. Thank you guys for joining in. Um, towards after we get done, hi Franny. Towards the end, I'm going to share with you guys the like how you're going to be able to be entered to win. Okay, so stay tuned. Stick it out with me because these kits are so fun. Okay, here's another one. This one is a good one, you guys. This one's called Forever Friends Kit, and so it looks like you get eight cards. So four of these and four of these, and they did put these together. And look at that metallic shine. Isn't that fun? And these cards are so pretty. So you get this stamp set right here, and it's a great stamp set within itself. I love the font, right? It says sending lots of hugs. This one says forever friends, and then you've got some block printing here, or block font. It says you can do hard things. I'm always here for you no matter what. And then this one says nobody gets me like you get me. What a sweet, awesome, just, and it's unique too. We don't have a whole lot of sentiment stamps that are like that. So here are the envelopes, aren't they amazing? You've got that coordinating. So when you get, when you send this in the mail, I mean, you're gonna really look like you're on top of things. <laughs> so there's that, but I did wanna point something out to you guys. So, um, maybe, hmm, oh shooty. Oh, here it is. I was gonna say, I thought I had left it somewhere. Okay, so you're gonna get these pieces, right? So you get this already already printed for you, and you're gonna get this one already printed. Now to me, these are pretty all by themselves. I actually really like the way that those look, um, but as part of the directions of the kit, you're gonna use the stamp set to outline, so you can see the difference here and in black, or wait, I think it was navy blue. Navy blue, I, Knight of Navy is what came with this kit. So you got a little ink spot that was Knight of Navy. And look how good, I mean, they both look really good. So just wanted to show you guys that. So if you, of course you could go rogue if you wanted to. And here's the little embellishment that goes with it. And I just think this one, this one's one of my faves, one of my faves. So this one is called Forever Friends Kit. Originally $21, on sale for $18.90 for eight cards. It's brilliant, brilliant. If you guys actually have gotten some of these kits, holler in the comment section, let me know that you have. Okay, so let's keep going. Oh, I have this kit too and I didn't bring it over here. Hmm, okay, I might step away for a minute and get them, but I'll, let me keep going with what I have because I have just about all of them. So let's look at seeing uh, this one's called the Saying Thanks Kit. So let me find that one. Saying Thanks. Where'd I put it? Uh, hmm. Oh, right in front of my, right in front of my face. Okay, so this one, this one is an all-inclusive card kit that does not include stamps or ink again. So this is one of those more inexpensive ones. But look how bright and vibrant these are. So fun. I love these. Here's the instruction booklet. So you can see here, you're gonna get nine cards with this kit. And again, because there's no stamps or ink, you're gonna see that you're gonna get all the sentiments. And, and of course, in different languages as well here. So, and that would be cool too. Like if you did know somebody who was French or German, you could send them a card and they would really think that you were the cat's meow. So there's um, the same things kit. Uh, to originally it's $13 and it's on sale for eleven seventy. So again, just an absolute no-brainer. You know what else? I'm talking to you about how you can get all these kits for yourself, um, but you could you could get these kits and gift them. So um, tomorrow we are meeting with Sterling's teacher and he is going into 3K, oh my gosh. And we're gonna go and meet, do like the meet the teacher kind of thing. And I know that teachers love to give 
thank you cards. They're so sweet and thoughtful and they always give thank you cards. And so that would be an awesome kit to give as a gift to a teacher, right? Think about Teacher Appreciation Day. That would be a good time to do it. So either you can gift them the kit and they can make it themselves or you can make them all and give it to them. All right, let's see here. What's the next one? The Love Treats Kit. Now I have this one too and I don't, I didn't bring it with me. So I'll have to go back and look for it. Um, the next one after that is called Timeless Greetings Kit. So I did not personally purchase that, but we got this as a card kit to put together. Here it is. Um, at OnStage last year. This was our make and take for OnStage. Um, hi, Noreen. It's okay that you missed the beginning. There will be a recording. You can watch it later. And we haven't um, talked about the drawing yet. So hang in there and you can watch the video as I go through all of these kits and then I'll, I'll tell you guys at the end how you can um, enter to win one of them. All right, so this right here, thank you for joining. <laughs> this right here is um, is that kit. It's called Timeless Greetings and it comes with a cool stamp that has like birthday and it's kind of masculine. It's got this little clock stamp. I'll be honest, this wasn't my favorite one. This was not my favorite kit. Um, I only got these two pieces, but as I'm looking closer at it, it looks like it will make, um, you'll make eight cards total with this. It does include the stamp set and an ink spot and typically would be $23 and it's on sale for $18 and 40 cents. So if you're somebody that needs a stamp that has like the world, um, happy birthday, time to celebrate. And then also, let me see if it tells me what other stamps are on here. This little clock face. Oh, it does tell me. Okay. So, um, the other sentiments are thanks. I can always count on you time to celebrate you make the world a better place and happy birthday so it might even be worth it just to get the stamp set for those sentiments and then you've got two images that come with the stamp set this world image here um just like the dark green there and then this clock face image that you would get and so that's like i said 23 dollars. you get it on sale for 1840 it's timeless greetings kit super super fun but wasn't my favorite kit. Okay, and it's great for masculine, like if you're interested in looking for masculine cards. Let's see, our next kit is, did it just switch it up on me? I hope not. Um, our next kit is the birthday card organizer, and I have that somewhere too. I don't I didn't bring it over with me. That's a must, you guys. Um, I'll go over and grab that one if I can. I just went and did a craft expo, and so I took some of the stuff with me, and it's probably still in boxes. But the birthday cor birthday card or organizer kit. Oh, my gosh, I can't talk. You have to get that. That's a must. A must, a must, a must. All right, the next one is going to be the Christmas gifting kit. So where is that one? Oh, thanks, Lisa. That's a good point. She said the Timeless Greetings is also a good one for graduation cards. That is a good one. And Deborah said she that she gifted the birthday album kit to her sisters. They did them together. And it was so much fun. They're not card makers, but let's see here. But they really enjoyed the experience. Isn't that like almost half of the the almost more than half of it is the experience. Like I know when I have card classes here at the studio, I don't know that they're some of the people are coming to actually physically make the cards as much it is as it is to socialize with other people and have fun. Um, okay. So you guys, thanks for the comments. That's awesome. I love hearing like you guys all come up with like really great ideas too. Okay. So I might have to come back to Christmas gifting kit. They're tags and I don't know where I put them. Hmm. I know I have them. Okay, I'll come back to it. Cozy and bright kit. So that's this one here. This was this one has been around for a while, but it's kind of like holiday themed, and it's um, beautiful. They've got these little orange slices, and makes you want to make like I don't know hot apple cider or something. But these are the cards that it makes, and looks like there's um, several. One, two, three, four, five. So maybe ten. Or is it more than that? One, two, three, four. Looks like 10. Um, and here they are. They're actually 
all the same pattern. So that's kind of different, but it's great for a Christmas card. Like if you want to do Christmas cards, it's okay, Gina, we're just going over the cards. You're good. Thanks for joining us. And then here are the beautiful envelopes. Look at that. And then let's see if there's anything on the inside. Nope, but I love that. That's so fun. And then of course adhesive, here is the stamp set. So let's see what it says. So you've got celebrate the season, all is cozy and bright. May this holiday warm your heart, wishing you a Merry Christmas. And then you've got happy Christmas and a joyous new year. Orange you glad it's Christmas. So we got a pun in there. But you've got the stamp set, you're gonna get an ink spot, the block, you're gonna get linen thread, which this is a must, I use it so much when I'm crafting. Um, and then these are the finished products here. These are the cards. These are really fun to put together. Uh oh, this one needs, this one needs some twine. I better find some twine for that. But there we go. So this one, this one is twenty-three dollars, and um, it's on sale for eighteen dollars and forty cents. So this is a great kit to get for sure, especially for the Christmas. It'd be a great one to give away um, as all your Christmas cards. All right, moving along. So this next one that I'm gonna show you is called the Best Remedy Kit. And I did a kits and cards class with this, a, a virtual one and an in-person one. And I really need to get some more kits classes on my schedule um, so that you guys have an opportunity to try out all the kits. So here is here are the cards here. It's called the Best Remedy. It is currently unavailable as an English kit. Now this one comes with a stamp set. This stamp set is so much fun, in my opinion. Look at that stamp set. I gotta try to stay in the camera, camera view. Oh, so Melinda, Mindy said she used the Timeless Greetings for Father's Day. Yeah, that is a good one. That's a good one. I think it is worth just the stamp set even. Okay, so you've got this little skunk and you could put, I thought that that was a chef's hat, but I, I think it's actually like an ice bag. <laughs> <laughs> that goes with the theme of this whole kit. You've got ice cream and a tub of ice cream. Anyway, so it says, a little birdie told me you were under the weather. Feel better soon. I'm here for you. And then it says, sorry, life stinks sometimes. Well, that stinks. And then ice cream is the best remedy for this. And then we've got, even though this stinks, dot, dot, dot. I'm here for you. So this is a great stamp set. You see that there's a theme to this one. So if you just wanted to have a stash of these cards, and let me show you what the cards look like. This is actually one of my favorite kits, and I would totally have gifted this kit if it was available, um, but it's currently unavailable. But look at this cutie. Like, isn't that so cute? And this is already cut out for you, so all you have to do is stamp. Now, although this is unavailable as an English kit, um, you could get it in French, that's still available. And then you would just have to come up with your own sentiments here. But me personally, the sentiments really shine in this kit. So, and then here's the one, little birdie told me you're under the weather. So you can see, that's when I realized that wasn't a chef's hat. Oh, Noreen, you got this kit. Awesome, awesome. Yes, I love it. And look at how cute this one is. Love this. So when I did my kits and cards class, it was kind of like, it was um, kind of like bingo, but using playing cards. If you guys have ever done that before, it was really fun. I need to like fire that up again and do some more of those events. But they got this kit, and then I also gave them this. So I stamped that that little, um, what is he, a skunk? Yeah, I almost said a raccoon. I stamped this skunk, because it comes, the stamp, here it is. The stamp set comes with the little skunk. And I stamped him, colored him in, did this sentiment, use this paper and I stuff this with like um, cough drops and I put in there a bag of tea and what else? Um, like emergency packet, you know, like the, it's like Theraflu, but kind of like not. Anyways, and this was their gift for me to them. So that was really fun. And then I just wanted to show you that I took an envelope, made a little bagelope with it and I used the stamp set. Ice cream is the best remedy for that. So you guys can see how these stamp sets, after you're done with the kit, that doesn't have to be the end of using the stamp set. The stamp sets are great. So this is one of my favorite kits, honestly, um, and clearly is other people's favorites because it's sold out. So if you have to have it though, it's in available in French at that discounted price. And then, um, oh, here's that thread. I have to put that back on there. Okay, so there's that. Um, the Love This Memory Notebook Kit, I do have that. I have to go find it again. Okay, a million thanks kit. So this was another kits and cards class that I did. Let me see if I can find it. 
very easily. Where is it? A million thanks. Um, I know it doesn't sound like I'm very organized right now, but I promise you I've kind of put these, stacked these up nicely. Okay, here we go. So this is the million thanks kit. And okay, this one is another one that's really, really good. I did this as kits and cards again. And um, you got nine cards here. But the cool thing about these cards is that they're embossed. Can you see that shiny embossing on it? Oh, it's just gorgeous. So you're going to make three of these. Okay. And you're going to make three of these. And you're going to make three of these. <laughs> um, and the sentiments are all thank you sentiments. So if you're looking for a good thank you sentiment, so this is another great one for teachers. Well, maybe not as cutesy as the other one was, but you've got this amazing thank you script right there. A million thanks. Serious, seriously grateful for you. And then all I can say is thanks. So this is a fantastic stamp set that you can use over and over again. And because I did kits and cards, I, of course, made something for them. So I made these little pouches and it was around Easter time and I used the thanks here on the sentiment. Um, so I just omitted the top of that part and just did the thanks on the bottom and this is what I gave them and I had little bunny bait in there for them. So that was my gift to them for attending. Super fun. I love this kit. Love it. Love it. So this one is, um, it would be $22 but it's on sale for $17.60. Now here's the other thing about the kits collection. You can only view them online, so you can see what is available online. If you see something is unavailable, it says currently unavailable, that means that they've ordered more and it is coming back. If you've shopped on the kits collection site before and you saw a kit that you really liked, but then it went away and you try to search for it and it's not there, that means that those kits have sold out, they're not ordering anymore and they're gone for good. So we just don't know, you know, um, I know they're phasing out some, some of the kits with this sale that's going on right now. And so if you see a kit that you like, grab it because you're going to want, you don't want to miss out on it. All right, here's another one. This one's called Kindness Cards Kit. Okay, so this one is a 3D one. It's an interesting one. It comes in this uh, little metal tin that you can totally re-gift. I did put the little sticker on there but it comes with these tiny cards and like these are like, uh, they're like coaster board type things. Um, and you can stamp on them and you can put a little stamp and a sticker on the back. I brought these on a Disney cruise when we went um, to give our um, stewardess and our stewards or I don't know what they're called. Our, and then our, our wait staff little, um, you know how you can tip them and give them little gifts. So this is what we did and uh, gave, Sterling and I put them together and he helped me put them together and he handed them out and he had fun doing that. So the stamp set itself is really awesome too. So you're gonna get, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, looks like eight. Eight of these little coaster things and they're all different, right? N well, not all different. Some of them are duplicates, but here, here's some that you can see. Um, and then you're going to get all these little stickers that you can stamp on. And let me show you the stamp set because the stamp set is really a winner. So you've got, um, hopefully you can see this. It's got, it says kindness wins. You're amazing. And then around it, it says no act of kindness is ever wasted. And then this one says your smile makes the world a brighter place. This one says pass it on. So this could be like, you know, if you're going through a drive through and you want to bless somebody or you go to see your bank teller and you just want to bless somebody, you could give this to them and maybe give them two and tell them you can stamp pass it on um, that way if you wanted to. So this is all about just kind of um, gratitude. It's really an, an encouragement. You made my day. Hello. Thanks. And then this one says kind people are my kind of people. I love that one. Inspired by your kindness, you shine like the stars. Have a great day. So this is a really cool stamp set. Um, Amy, yes, I agree. The stamp set is worth getting the kit. And I, you love the tin too. Yes, I agree. The tin is great too. So um, 
just such a great little kit to be able to bless somebody with and to share and share some hand stamp kindness with them. And so let's see how much this kit is. It typically runs for $23 and you'll get this kit on sale for $16.10. So that kind of tells me because the other kits that were $23 you get them for like $18. So the 1610 tells me that this is more on sale than the other ones and could potentially be one that they phase out. So if you like this one, um, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. Angela said, those ideas of kindness gifts are so good. Yes. Thank you. Um, I, I know you, Angela, you are always sharing kindness. So I know you have a ton of ideas what that you could do with this particular kit. So, so fun. Um, yeah, it, I'm just kind of, this is just my guess that they're going to phase this one out. It's been around for a while. And so make sure that if you like that, you get it. All right. So the next one that we're going to feature, the next one is the Robo Buddies. This is a cute one. This is a cute one. So this is a very kid friendly one, but it doesn't have to be. It could be one that, I mean, I could totally give this to my husband. I really could. So um, this one creates three different cards and you're making three of each of so those nine cards. This one actually comes with two ink spots. So you're gonna get a pumpkin pie and a Bermuda Bay. Now Bermuda Bay, this has retired. This has retired and I'm looking at the price on this. I bet you they phased this kit out as well. So this is a typically a $23 kit on sale for 1610. I probably better get some more of these kits. But um, this is a retired ink spot. Pumpkin pie is still current. But let me show you the cards. They're really cute. So look at that. Isn't that fun? This one says happy birthday. This is great because I can give these to my son's uh, classmates for their birthdays. Let's be friends. This one says let's be friends as well. Look at these fun embellishments here. They're kind of like googly eyes. They are googly eyes, but they're in these um, really fun colors. And then here's the stamp set. Okay, look at that envelope. That envelope is so fun. So you got that envelope and it's even lined really cute. It looks like widgets. Um, let me get, the card bases are fun. Okay, so let's look at this. So, oh, there's only two sentiments on here, but of course you could always use sentiments that you have. Let's be friends and happy birthday. And then you've got your little robots here. This is a really cute, adorable, fun kit. You've got these stickers that you can use as well. Um, so yeah, I definitely am going to make up the rest of these cards and these are totally gonna be the cards that I send uh, with my son for his classmates when it's their birthday. That's so cute. I should have thought of that last year when I had it. When I had it. Okay, so there's that kit. Um, again, I already gave you the price on that. On sale for $16.10. I am definitely going and getting more of those. Okay, next kit. This is the Celebrate Today Magnet Board. Have you guys noticed that a lot of these kits kind of have a theme to them? I love that. I love that they have a theme. Uh, makes them really cool. Um, oh, here's another one of those Christmas cards. Okay, so this is a board and it's called Celebrate Today Magnet Board. So you can see it's got magnet on it. It comes with these little clips here with the magnets on them. It comes with all of these little sleeves. I have, hold on, let me grab it. It comes with the extra pieces. Here's the instruction. Here's the instruction booklet. And so you could get really creative with this and do really what you wanted with it. The other thing is you can use the extra pieces to make cards with it. So this one is one that's all inclusive and it doesn't come with a stamp set. So let me just kind of go through some of the pieces. Now I made mine, come on out of there. I made mine pink with the background. Um, in the example, they made it with the gray background. It's large enough you can actually put a 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock that maybe is your favorite cardstock you can put that in there instead let me see i think this is the or you could use this black side you can use this green and um green side and i think that the other side of the one that i'm currently using is the gray checkered looking one that looks like this but i did the pink ombre okay so you see that there's so much versatility there 
And then we've got all of these great little stickers, stickers in different languages. Okay, and then here's an English, so you can use that to decorate. I, I think I'm out of the screen. Sorry if I am, guys. I'll try to keep checking. Um, and then you've got all these little card kits. This, these card kits kind of remind me of these card pieces are kind of reminis reminiscent of like the uh, Memories and More card kits that we have. So here's a cool one that you could put a month sticker on there and like fill that in. Okay. And you can just write on them. So there's that. Here's like a, you could do like a little checklist or a to-do list or some motivating quotes or whatever you wanted to do. Um, this is a great one for a boy or a girl. You could actually totally make it a boy or a girl um, board that they hang in their room. So I did do this. One of my friends, uh, Jen, she got her friends together. Most of them are dietitians, and they all put they all live all over. They're military, and they live all over the world. And they got together on Zoom, and I got to join them for that. It was so fun. They each got one of these kits, and they each put their kits together um, and kind of hung out. So how fun is that as just kind of a girl's night in? You know, grab a little bit of wine, or if you don't drink, that's fine too, and put your kits together on Zoom. And then you can share your kits at the end of, night, end of the night to see what everybody did. But it could be an inspiration board. It could be a... Um, a grocery list board it could be something for your kids they can put their pictures on it so this is so cool it also comes with this frame so this is a great gift so let's look at the price in here so this is okay so it looks like I'm thinking they're gonna phase this one out too it's $25 and it's on sale for $17 and 50 cents so if you like this one get it there's more samples online of things that they did like the list, if you're trying to jog your mind as to what you could do with it, they kind of share some other ideas online. Um, but it's really cute. Like I love this one. You look at, you just make like little pockets and you can slide things in these pockets too and you can add the stickers or you don't have to. So love this one. This one's called Cele Celebrate Today Magnet Board Kit. All right, let's keep going. Whew, doing a lot of talking. Um, let me see if anybody has any questions. Okay, so Franny, you're wondering if a seven-year-old could do this kit. I'm wondering if it was the Robo kit. If it was, they totally could. I mean, absolutely could. Such a cute kit. If not, if you're thinking about the Celebrate Today magnet board, absolutely. Absolutely. And is your little Melanie, is she seven? I can't imagine that she's already seven. So I'm assuming that's who you're talking about. Okay, so light the candles card kit. This is another birthday card kit. This is a cute one. Um, not to be confused with the first one that I showed you earlier that we did for Samp and Bingo, but this is also bright. Those were shaker cards. These are kind of like a shadow box, not shadow box, but you pop it up and you got stuff behind it so you can see those really fun colors. Okay, Franny, she totally could do it. It'd be so cute for her. And then you've got this one. So this one comes with two different cards and you make four of each. So there's eight. This one is available. It's not sold out. It's a very cute one. We did birthday box bingo last year with this exact kit. So if you did birthday box bingo last year, this is the kit we used. If you loved it and you want more, then grab it. It's on sale. So typically it'd be $22. It's on sale for $19.80. Okay. So here's the card bases. And then I just love, look at these envelopes. How fun are these envelopes? I love it. Love, love, love it. You're going to get like this great adhesive, um, adhesive strip. So if you like to make shaker cards, the stamp set is in here as well. So we've got um, happy, happy birthday, hip, hip, hooray, like the candle, make a wish. The other sentiments are happy birthday to you, birthday wishes, today's your day. Uh, make a wish, wishing you a, and then you can put whatever, happy birthday, hip hip hooray, whatever. So there's that. Now, when we did, like I said, I like to add, when we do birthday box bingo or any kind of bingo, I like to add to our projects. And right now I'm only seeing one tag, but I think we made two tags and they got a little bag or I can't remember what all they got, but here's one of the tags that we created. Sue, I agree. The envelopes are so amazing. I have seen people take the envelopes and create 
more projects with them. So they would maybe put this in a regular white envelope, but then they would take this envelope and they would, you know, cut it up and make other cards. Um, so I personally love these kits as is. Then I don't have to think. I can just put these together. I know I designed two tags and I don't know where the other one is, but if you came to birthday box bingo, then you know what I'm talking about. So we did, um, as you can see, this is actually envelope paper. Okay, so there's that. Um, that's available. Again, like I said, only $19.80 and you get eight cards and they're beautiful cards. When this first came out, it sold out right away. Absolutely sold out right away. And now it's available. All right, let's see what we got next. Um, a Franny said she, oh, she is seven. Oh yeah, I think she would love it. I do. I really do. Okay, now the next one is the Love Santa Tag Kit. Okay, another cute tag kit. Here it is. So you get um, one, two, three, four, 12 tags with this one. And let me show you what they look like. This one comes with a stamp set. Here's the stamp set that you can use on other things. Let me put it, maybe if I put it here, you can see it better. It says Joy, Love Santa, Merry Christmas, Merry and Bright. Um, this one says Special Delivery, to and from. You can't have enough of those to and from as you can kind of stick that on the back. But look at what you get. So here's a tag. And these are just fantastic to put on a gift. So maybe this holiday season, you are gift wrapping and you just use craft paper, really pretty ribbon, and you add this to it it's gonna just pop and look so good. So this one says Merry and Bright. You can also put Merry Christmas on there. This one says Joy. And then this one says Love Santa. So isn't that cute? Pop this one out. So you do get some twine in here that you can use to kind of affix these tags. You can see them on here. But they're a really good size. Like look at the palm of my hand, right? They're a really good size tag. You can also take these and just turn them into cards. I've seen lots of stuff on Pinterest where people have done that. Um, you're gonna have all of these pieces to pop out here and to create these tags. And I love this tag kit. So this tag kit is on sale. It's okay, looks, I bet you they phase this one out too. It's $22, it's on sale for $15.40. So I literally, after we get off this video, I'm going to place some more orders because I am nervous that this stuff is gonna sell out and not come back. So I will definitely be ordering from these kits. So there's that um, Love Santa Tag Kit. All right, uh, let's see what's next. We've got the Christmas Whimsy Card Kit. So that's this one. So this is definitely a whimsical, whimsical card kit. So that's what they look like, okay? And you would get one, two, three, four. So you get eight of these cards as well. Beautiful envelopes that have some gold piping on it. Okay. You're gonna get some gold thread that you can use here. And then of course you can use it over and over again. You're gonna get your block, you're gonna get adhesive, you're gonna get some little embellishments here. All these great little tag cutouts and then the image is already punched out for you. Here's the sentiments. So you've got season's greetings. You've got wishing you peace, joy, and love now and throughout the coming year. And then you've got Merry's Christmas to you. So great, great sentiments for the holidays. Fun cards here with some of that gold and sparkle in there. And you've got the gold piped envelopes. And how much is this? So typically it's $22 on sale for $15.40. Again, it's my hunch that these ones that are a little bit cheaper than the rest are gonna be phased out. So like when you when they sell out, they're, they're gone for good. And they've been doing such an amazing job of bringing out new kits each month. And they're just, they get better and better each month. Okay, here's the next one. You are my anchor. So this one is kind of um, one of the first ones that they came out with. And it was kind of a reconfiguration of a paper pumpkin kit. So if you're a paper pumpkin subscriber, this probably looks familiar to you. 
So here are the boxes. They create these really cute boxes and you can just, um, oopsie, slide the box open and what you have inside are these little cute note cards. This would make such a great gift. Well, hi, Dottie. Good to see you on here. Thank you for joining us. Um, yeah, Sue, this is, this kit is awesome. And if you, so if you missed the paper pumpkin one, grab this one because it is so cute. And like I said, it makes great gifts. I used to sell these at, um, these little boxes at a craft show or craft store that I participated in. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. So you see, you get all of these little boxes. So it looks like one, two, three, four boxes. And then you're going to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cards. I did find that that made it difficult to separate the cards into the four boxes. So, yeah, you might, you'll have like one, like two boxes that'll have two extra cards. So look at all these little extra pieces that you get in here. And then let's look at the sentiments here. So we've got, um, you are my anchor, congratulations, your lifesaver, adventure awaits, thanks for you, ahoy. Awesome stamp set. Just another, like, great reason to even just get the kit is for the stamp set. So this kit is typically $21, and it's on sale for $14.70, you guys. That is super cheap. So cute, super cheap. Great, great little kit. Okay, let's go on to our next one. Um, notes of cheer. So I love this one. This one's a fun one. The reason I brought these cards out is be these kits out and I decided to do this today is because I've had people asking me about these, this kits collection. It's on sale, but people don't really know about it. And then they don't really know if they're good or not. And it's hard to see online. And so that's why I'm kind of doing a deeper dive today on these kits. Now this one, I'm missing one of the cards. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm missing the butterfly card. So this one um, has three different cards and you're gonna get three of each. So those are nine cards. They do not come with stamp sets or, or um, ink, but that's okay because everything's already die cut for you, right? Already, you can just punch it out. So this is one of those all inclusives and look at these envelopes. How fun are these envelopes? Look at that with the scalloped edge there. Now the card that I was missing is probably because I gave it away to somebody is this one. Look how pretty this card is. You just fold it in half. And this is such a special card. So different than what we typically offer. And you'll see that you just, oh gosh, I keep going out of the screen. You put that across the um, front of it, just like that. Okay, so this is a special kit. I love this kit very much. Um, this one is $13 on sale for $11.70 and you get to make nine cards. You just cannot go wrong with this kit at all. This would be a great kit to um, just kind of have on hand, or also you can bundle them all together and give it as a gift. And um, for $11.70, and it's really easy to put together, this Notes of Cheer card kit is definitely a must. All right, now we've got another one called the Let's Party. Let me show you that one. Okay, so I have them done, but I have, I think I have them packed away somewhere, but I'll show, oh, well, here's a couple. There we go. So they make these little gifts and you guys, I used these last year. If you watched my, I think I did a video on it. Um, I put these together, but instead of for you, my friend, I put like happy Valentine's day on there and I stuffed these with candy and these were Sterling's Valentine's last year. So cute and simple to put together. These little pillow boxes are super sturdy. And then you just stuff them on this end, right? And then close it up. And now you've got these great little gift boxes here. This, it comes with embellishments and all the pieces. Here's the stamp set. You've got hooray, it's your day, let's party for you, my friend. And um, you're the best and to and from. I think either I did for you, my friend, for Valentine's Day or I did... Happy Valentine's Day. I can't remember now. But one thing I want to mention is the little hearts that I have here, they're not included in the kit. I added those for Valentine's Day. So this is what the projects actually look like. So you'll get enough to make eight boxes here. And they're just so cute. I love the colors. 
they look so good together. I like to store now my paper pumpkin kits and these kits and these little, these are our, um, these are our stamping cases and you can buy them on the online store as well. And they're just the clear cases and I like to put my stuff in here and store the extra stuff. So I had these stored flat. Oh, Franny, that it would be perfect for her grand, her grandsons for sure. So great way to give away little treats, a little surprise and delight for your friends and family that are around you or people from for work. I mean, um, little Circe's is just like, these are perfect for little Circe. You leave them on the desk as a little gift. Okay. Our next one that I want to talk about. Hmm. Okay. I was kind of nervous that this one wasn't sold out, but it's not. So this one, I'm sure they're going to phase this one out too. This one is the for the guys kit. This one is also a remake of a paper pumpkin kit. This one is awesome. This is an awesome kit. So you've got, um, it's, it's really masculine. It's really easy to put together. You're going to get those two designs here, and you're going to get eight cards total. The envelopes, again, I can't stop harping on how amazing these envelopes are. Look at that on that side. Oh, so good. So good. And then you've got this great stamp set. This is perfect for masculine cards. I know a lot of us struggle to find masculine cards. And here you go with this um, great setup. So we've got, um, these are kind of, a word builder stamp set. So you can do happy anniversary. Um, and you could put to you happy birthday, happy father's day. Uh, thank you dad. And then there's another dad, brother, uncle, grandpa, friend, grandson. There you go. Daddy grandson. I love you for all you do. Nephew, son. Thank you. I just went over that one already, but such a great stamp set. This one's on sale. So usually it's $22 on sale for $15.40, and that's worth this stamp set by itself. Not to mention how great all of these pieces are. So there we go. Let's add that together and put this away. So this one's called For the Guys Card Kit. I love, love, love it, love, love, love it. All right, the next one I want to show you guys is Sentimental Rose Card Kit. Okay, here's another one. This is also a Paper Pumpkin remake. So I'm pretty sure all the ones that are like Paper Pumpkin remakes from when they first came out with the kits collection, because now they're not like that. Um, they're all like just totally different kits. Um, I'm pretty sure they're going to phase these out. This one is a awesome gift. So you're going to get this cello box right here. You're going to get a belly band. Hi, Carol. I love that one, too. I think you're probably talking about the masculine one, the um, for the guys, or maybe you're talking about this one, but I love it, too. So um, this comes with this great box, and when you open this box, now this right here is a great gift. You've got these beautiful cards. Let's say happy birthday, um, congratulations, thank you. Oh my gosh, I'm totally going to buy some more of these so I can just make these up as gifts. You put these together, you're going to get nine cards and one box here. And with the envelopes and everything. So I don't have all the cards made up and put in there. So um, that's why it's not so filled up. But the stamp set itself is beautiful. you got this gorgeous flower here. It says, best wishes, happy Mother's Day for you. Thank you. Thinking of you, happy birthday, congratulations. And I love the font and everything about the stamp set. So um, just, gosh, guys, so gorgeous. So here are all those pieces. Like, look at that. Isn't that pretty? It's already stamped on there for you or printed on there for you, I should say. And look at these envelopes that you get. Okay. So fantastic gift. You guys, I think I'm helping you <laughs> come up with your Christmas gifts. So buy these kits up and make them up and gift them to your friends and family, to your teachers, to your coworkers, to your employees, to your babysitter, <laughs> to your hairdresser, to your nail technician. I mean, I think I could go on and on. These are awesome gifts, you guys. I mean, I really think that we need to start a movement where you're sharing some hand stamp kindness again. Okay, let's see what else we have that I haven't um, gotten to. Okay, so the kerchief kit. So this one, this one is also an oldie, but a goodie. This is probably the cheapest kit we've got right now. So this one, I'm sure they're going to phase out. 
This one comes with eight cards. It's an all-inclusive card kit that does not require any stamping, no stamps, no ink. Um, and yeah, and so that's why it's, like I said, it was originally 13 on sale for $9.10. Hi, Brenda, thanks for joining. And um, yes, oh, I agree, Sue. Christmas gifts are the best. So this one's really pretty with, do you see how that those gold leaves or elements just sparkle? So this one's great. It's so cheap for all those cards that you would get. Okay, and then if you don't have, like I showed you with this one, this one came with a cello box, right? If you didn't have the cello box, you could take the entire stack of these and put a belly band around it and a little tag and um, put some ribbon around it and just jazz it up and you could do that. We also have these boxes or these bags in our, let me show them to you. We sell these bags also in our catalog that you could totally, let me find it. Oh, well there's these note cards. These have a box that you could use. And then I was thinking of, where is it? Aha, uh -huh. this right here, you've got those treat bags. You could stuff a bunch of cards in there and put a little tag on there. Um, we've got these clear cello bags that are six by eight. You can stick a bunch of cards in there, put a little tag topper on it. There's so many ways that you could jazz up these and make them make them as gifts and save yourself. Like, you know, I think about um, definitely for the, like the teachers and stuff. <laughs> I was trying to remember where it was. I think it was, I think I was sitting at, at my hairdressers with Cassie and Cassidy, and um, someone had said something about like teachers need another mug like they need a hole in their head <laughs> like so don't get your teachers mugs like get them something else like gift cards or something like that but how cute would it be to give them a box of cards thank you cards or think something that they can use that they don't have to purchase themselves and a gift card to like a coffee shop or amazon or somewhere like that i mean these are just ideas you know just different ideas so here's another one okay so this one's called Petal Notes. Let me see where it is. Okay, so this is another one that's only $9.10. It's all inclusive. I must have given my cards away because I don't have my samples. I don't know where they are. But you're going to get, let's grab the instruction book. So you're going to get one, two, three different cards, beautiful envelopes, and they, you're going to get nine cards total. So three of each. Let me see, where's the other card base? Uh huh, here it is. So here are the different card bases here. And um, here are the sentiments that you would use. And then you've got these sticker elements. This is one that's also kind of a remake of a paper pumpkin kit. So take advantage of the fact that these are on sale. And look at all these little sparkly um, embellishments that you have that you can put together. And that's another great, great card kit. Okay, so let's see here. Um, have I gone over everything? So I did miss a couple, and I wish I would have. I have them. I think they're just packed away. Let me make sure I didn't miss anything really important. But I'm going to show you my favorite one right now. And this is the one I'm giving away today. Um, so uh, let me see. Maybe sure. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Mm -mm -mm. I think so. Okay, let me check um, and see if there's any questions. I don't see any questions. Okay, so here's the thing. Today I want to give this kit away. It won't be this exact kit. I have to give you one that's brand new because <laughs> I'm going to open this one up. Um, I think this one's my favorite. I haven't even put it together yet, so I'm going to kind of work on it a little bit. But this is called Colorful Kaleidoscope. This one is $23 on sale for $20.70. And it is so pretty. I'm going to put this together right now with you guys, at least one of them. So I can show you how easy it is and give you like little tips as to how I do it. Um, but if you can drop in the comments below, what was your favorite kit that you saw? Tell me what your favorite kit is that you saw. And then um, I'm going to, like I said, I mentioned this earlier. And if you, if you joined in a little bit later, um, what you're going to do is drop a comment as to your favorite kit, the name of your favorite kit. And then I'm going to give you a number. I'm going to assign a number to everybody that comments. And then we're going to do a little drawing. 
So make sure you comment below. Let me, while you guys are working on that, let me go grab, see if I can grab a couple other kits that I missed, especially that birthday one, because that birthday organizer one, I think Deb, you said that was the one that you guys use with your sister. It is so awesome. So um, hang tight for just two seconds. Okay, I guess I have them really packed away. I had a couple of kits I wanted to show you guys. Um, so let's see here. Okay, awesome. I see you guys commenting. So as you continue to comment, I will come in and assign numbers in, in just a minute. But let me talk to you guys about this kit. So this one's called Colorful Kaleidoscope. If you don't win it, you can get it for $20.70. It comes with a sentiment um, stamp set that says, thank you, thank you, thank you. It says, um, thanks, I can't thank you enough. This one, next one says, and I love you so much. Wishing you a magical birthday. May your day be filled with light and love. Just because you're so special to me. So um, originally I thought, oh, this is just a thank you stamp set. But it's not. It's, an, it's like an all occasion stamp set. So you're going to get the instruction book. You're going to get these sentiments. So what I like to do when I get a kit is first of all, I look to see what is the ink spot, if there is one, and I go and grab my full size one and I set my ink spot aside. This is how I, this is how I store my ink spots. These are our old wood cases. And I put, um, I put like the, the family group that they come in and I stick them all in here. And I use them if I'm traveling and I don't wanna bring the big ones or if I'm teaching a class and I need multiple inks, but I don't have them all. Um, I also set this aside. Um, I should start give, giving these away to people because I have so many of them. And I grab one that's like this, the one that's more ergonomically correct. And then the next thing I do is I take a look at, oh, you guys, look at these envelopes. Okay, so I've not ever put one of these cards together. I just knew that this was my favorite just by looking at it. Something about it just really spoke to me. So then the next thing I do is I like actually fold down all the envelopes, okay? I won't do them all, but I'll just show you that I do that. And I take my adhesives and I set my adhesives to the side. And then I will open up any of the kits. So these are, look at these. These are laser cut. Oh my gosh. Yes, Deborah, the envelopes are amazing. Look at these laser cut. Oh! You guys, these are gorgeous. This is my first time looking at this kit. I knew I was going to love it. And it sold out right away, too, initially. And, and now it's back in stock. So look at that. And there's no die cutting on your end that you have to do. Look at this one. I do have a question for you guys. So, and I guess I could solve it just by looking at this. Sometimes you'll see these die cuts, and they'll be, when you look at them, they're like kind of flat on one end and on the other end, they're a little bit beveled with a little bit of brown. I always wondered which side, and I, now this is actually telling me. So the beveled side that's got a little bit of brown on it, that's obviously the back. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? I always see that and I'm like, uh, which side is, I mean, I like that brown look to it. It's just a tiny bit of brown, like where, right where it's beveled. Oh my goodness, look at these envelopes. I mean, these um, these card bases. I mean, gosh. Okay, so this right here is like a Calypso Coral. Calypso Coral and blue are probably some of my favorite colors together. Oh my goodness, look at this one, you guys. Eek. I love it. Ah, Franny, you're changing your vote. <laughs> 
I'm telling you, I knew this one was so good. This is so good. Okay, you'll always get a cardboard. I always, I always save my cardboards because I ship things so much and I ship uh, my cardboard with it. And here's some more embellishments. I mean, adhesive. So you got foam strips and you're going to have blue dots. And I thought I had something else. Yeah, mini, little mini dimensionals. And then um, here are the embellishments that came with it. So this one, again, is called the Colorful Kaleidoscope Kit. These are so good. So another thing that you guys could consider doing is if you have some girlfriends that want to get together and create, you guys all, like, either you can pick all the same kit or you can all pick different kits and have a kit night. And, you know, just have, like, everybody bring a snack and bring your kits. I totally need to do this here at the studio more often. All right, let me go over, and while um, I'm going to make sure that you guys are, I'm just going to put one of these cards together, and then we're going to do our drawing. So make sure you comment below which one was your favorite kit. Which is your favorite in-color kit? Okay, and then let's let's pick one of these that I want to do. So hmm, I love them all, but I think I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to go with this one here. And so then what I do is I fold it down. Oh, here's another question I get very often. Oh my gosh, here's another way to answer it. Okay, so people will ask me, when I, I score my stuff for my customers typically, um, and so they'll say, okay, which side is the correct side to fold? And I have always been told that you fold in on the mountain. Okay, and I was in class, or maybe it was our team meeting, and I maybe it was Betty. Did it was it Betty who said it? Somebody had like a little saying that worked, or maybe it was Peggy. Oh shoot, what was it? It was, um, oh my goodness, I forgot already. I should have wrote it down. But um, Brenda, Brenda Kieser was here. Brenda, do you remember what they said? It was like a little tip to remember. <sighs> Mountain. Anyways, I'll think of it and I'll share with you guys. But um, I was always told that this is like a hill, right? On this side. Maybe you can, uh, I don't know that you can see it. This is like a hill where it kind of has a bump like that. And then on this side is like a valley, right? So um, I was always told to put the mountain on the inside, right? So that is how these are actually designed. So the little mountain is here, there's the valley, and then you just fold against the, you fold in on the mountain. And it's like still bothering me that I cannot think. Amy, you were here too. Maybe, Amy, you're the one who said it. Who came up with that cute little saying to remember? Um, and Deborah says that kits are great on retreats and vacations. They are. They so are. If you guys are coming to the holiday retreat that I'm hosting with my friend Susan in October, grab some kits, you guys. They're going to be great. We're going to be designing some stuff, too. But these kits would be great. So now we've got this laser cut piece. And I'm just looking. I mean, you can open it up and go through the directions. And there's always a video also with um, Sarah putting these kits together. And I'm probably one of those people that doesn't read directions. When I'm putting Ikea furniture together, I just go for it. But um, I think I can look at this and kind of have an idea. So you'll see how easy this is. So I'm going to just take this foam strip here. I love that they include these. And I'm going to put one here. Okay. And one here. This is easy. I cannot. Oh, you didn't hear it, Amy? I'm just, I cannot remember. It was such a cute little way of remembering which way to do it. Hmm. It'll come to me when it's like late at night and I should be sleeping. Uh, so here's this little part right there. Okay, and then we'll pull this off. Just gonna do one of these cards so you guys can see how easy this is. But that's what I, how I like to do it. I like to take my entire kit, open it all up, fold all the envelopes down, separate everything out, and then I'll usually, I will look sometimes at the directions. Um, and then it looks like I'm going to, 
Okay, it looks like there's a little bit of lining it up. I think I did it. And even if I missed it, mess it up just a little bit, it's okay. Oopsie. It'll still look good. So you've got almost got like a shadow box effect there. It's so cool already, you guys. If somebody got this in the mail, they're going to think that I really worked hard on this card. Okay, now you've got all these pieces. Here's the other thing I like to do. I like to pop all these little pieces out and stack them together, okay? Um, so I won't do the rest of them. But now when you pop them out because they're perforated, you're going to have like these little little nubs. And you they're hardly noticeable. But I still like to go in with a pair of scissors and just kind of clean them up. You could even take like um, an emery board, uh, you know, or something and file them down. They're just these little tiny where they were adhered to this or like connected to this, right? So I like to take those off so it has more of a finished look. And then let's pick a sentiment. So let's see here. The sentiment that they used on here was wishing you a magical birthday Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to use the thank you one instead. So that's the other cool thing. You can switch it up. Now, whenever we're using these, um, and now this is a little bit too small. Let me grab a bigger one. When you're using um, the photopolymer for the first time, make sure you kind of rub the surface of it because it has a film that'll prevent you from getting like the best impression. Sometimes you can rub it on here on your paper and you can clean it, you know, clean it off with your stamp and scrub and mist or your chamois to kind of get that surface. So it doesn't have that, that film on it. Now we're going to open the gray granite because that's what coordinates or I could stamp in, in night of Navy, which sorry guys, I'm going to switch it up a little bit. The gray granite does look really good. It does, but I think the Knight of Navy is going to really pop. So let's do that. Um, oh, shoot. Where is my Knight of Navy? Hold on. I must have used it somewhere. Okay. So I do have a little ink spot that we'll use in Knight of Navy. So this is another reason why these ink spots get come in handy. Okay. And you can re-ink the ink spots too with our re-inkers. So I'm going to put thanks. I can't thank you enough just because I use this sentiment a lot. Oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Noreen, I think so too. It does look better. So there we go. And I got to see a little, another little nub that I want to trim off. Okay. And then you will just put this on right here. And so what I'm going to do is take, um, one of the strips again and let's put it on the bottom here. And the great thing about these is you can like tear them like that when you have a little bit too much or not, you know, if it's too long, you could tear it really easily. And I do want to add a little bit of glue. I don't need it probably, but I'm just going to add just a little tiny bit of glue to the top, like right there. Okay. Whoa. And then I'm going to put it right here. I want a little white showing personally. I You guys, how cute is this? Let me see where they put the, okay. And they put one of the gems right in the center. And this is kind of a busy card. So you don't really need these embellishments. Now, if I could do it over again, I would put one of the little mini glue dots that they gave us. I would put it underneath that centerpiece. Okay. Is that not gorgeous? Look at that. That is so gorgeous. And so all of these are so pretty. You're going to get nine cards, nine envelopes. I am going to give this away, a new kit um, to somebody. So let's go through and let's add the numbers like I mentioned earlier. This is a longer happy hour than I normally do. 
but I just had to show you guys, I just had to show you guys these, these kits um, up close. So let's see, uh, let me go over. Uh-oh, am I not in the right place? Okay, good, I showed up. All right, so we've got all these comments here. Let me um, go through them and start. Thank you, Rhonda. Okay, guys, make sure you write your favorite, the name of your favorite kit that I just shared with you guys today. So the, the kits collection. Tell me your favorite, even if it's this one that I just did. Um, this one's called Col uh, Colorful Kaleidoscope. Yep, Col Colorful Kaleidoscope. And I'm gonna assign you a number. Now let me see how I can see all of the comments. Oh shoot. Why is it not showing me all the comments? on it. Okay, now I can see them. Here we go. All right, so okay. So Jan, you said confetti birthday kit. And I I don't have a number 1, okay? So I'm starting with number 2. The reason I know I don't have number one is because my assistant, Becky, went through and counted all the marbles to make sure I had them. Okay, so you got number two. And then, Franny, you said the kit for men with the mountains. I know you've changed your mind, but I'm going to give you a number three here anyway. So this is where we're going to give you a number three. Okay. Hopefully you guys are following me on this, and I won't take too long. Um, so Dottie, you said so far, the one you're about to make the kaleidoscope, you think that'll be your favorite? <laughs> I think so too, I just love it. So Dottie, you're gonna be number four. I should have asked somebody else to do this for me. Um, Veronica, you like the last one. And you, also, and you also like Boho Beach. So I haven't put Boho Beach together yet. I'm, I shared that and I need to I probably need to stop talking because I don't remember. I think you're number five. <laughs> okay. Anyways, so Boho Beach, that's a good one. And then this Kaleidoscope one, of course. Um, Deborah, you really like the magnet board. I'm so glad. I think that magnet board's awesome too. I'm going to say that you're number six. Okay. Um, let's see here. Haha, <laughs> Amy said so you have to change yours to kaleidoscope. Amy, did I give you a number? I haven't. Okay, so your number, Amy, you're going to be number seven. I have to find a faster way to do this next time if I do it like this again. Um, let's see here, Amy. Okay, and Carol, you're going to be number, wait, yes, I see. Okay, I'm just gonna comment under where I, this comment that you made, Angela. Um, you're gonna be, hold on. Okay, this is not as easy as I thought it was gonna be. Um, I can't remember if I said eight or not. Okay, anyways, so Angela, I'm gonna put you down as number nine. I'm gonna skip over number eight. That's number nine. Veronica, you're going to be number 10. Noreen, you're going to be number 11. See if I'm missing anybody. Um, Rhonda, you're going to be number 12. Hi, Rhonda. I'll see you soon. I'm excited to come up your way. 
the 12. Brenda, you're going to be number 13. Hopefully I haven't assigned somebody twice. Pam, you're going to be number 14. So it's kind of weird how this is, it's not showing me the comments, like it's skipping around with comments. So I know I saw Lisa on here. Deborah Anderson, did I give you a number? Dottie, I think I gave you a number right after your sister. And Jan, I think I gave you a number first. Ah, uh, Gina. Okay, Gina, you're going to be number 15. Thank you. Let me see if I missed anybody. How come I don't see any? I saw a comment from Lisa, but it's not showing up. Where are you, Lisa? Okay. All right. I'm going to try to find you over here on my phone. Sorry, guys. This is taking longer than I thought it would. Um, okay, good. Deborah, I gave you a number. Okay. Did I miss anybody else? Veronica Moore, I think I gave you a number, right? There, I see Lisa. 